Your autopilot chlorsync cell should be inspected regularly for scale buildup. Allowing a heavy buildup to accumulate will damage the cell and shorten its life. Turn off the pump and remove the cell. The union should be hand tight. If you can't get them off, an oil filter wrench works great. If there is no visible scale or just a tiny bit on the ends of the cell, there's no need to clean the cell. The unit's self-cleaning feature will take care of it. Cleaning a cell that doesn't have scale can also damage the coating and shorten its life. If your cell does need to be cleaned, never touch the cell blades with anything harder than your fingernail. No screwdrivers, wood, sticks, or hacksaw blades. Scraping the cell blades will damage the coating and ruin the cell. To clean your cell, you will need the Autopilot Chlorsync Cleaning Kit, specifically designed to allow the cell to stand up while cleaning. Or you could use a standard 2-inch test plug, like this one, available at your local hardware store. To clean the cell, use muriatic acid. Some stores sell no fume sulfuric acid, but it's not effective for cell cleaning. Make sure the O-ring is in place and install the cell cleaning kit on the cell outlet sign, as shown here, and hand tighten. Fill the capped cell with water to about 2 inches, or 5 centimeters, below the top of the cell blades. Fill the rest of the cell with acid. This will give us the recommended 4 to 1 ratio. Always pour the acid into water, not the other way around. It could be very dangerous. Allow the cell to soak for up to 15 minutes. Repeat the process if necessary. When the cell is clean, remove the cleaning cap and rinse with fresh water. Take a moment to rinse any dirt and debris from the unions. If you don't, they can be hard to tighten and may leak. Hand tighten the unions, restart the pump, check for leaks, and you're good to go.